at the time when Amraphel was king of Shinar, Ariok king of Alasar, Keterlimer king of Elam, and Tidal king of Goyim. These kings went to war against Bera king of Sodom, Bersha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Edmah, Shemubber king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zor. All these latter kings joined forces in the valley of Sidim, that is, the Dead Sea Valley. For twelve years they had been subject to Keterlamer, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Keterlamer and the kings allied with him went out and defeated the Rephates in Ashtaroth Karnam, the Zuzites in Ham, the Amites in Shavak Kiriatham, and the Horites in the hill country of Seir, as far as Yel Paran near the desert. Then they turned back and went to in Mishpat, that is, Kadesh, and they conquered the whole territory of the Amalekites, as well as the Amorites who were living in Hazazan Tamar. Then the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Edmah, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zor marched out and drew up their battle lines in the valley of Sidim against Keterlimer king of Elam, Tidal king of Goyim, Amraphel king of Shinar, and Ariok king of Alasar for kings against five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of tar pits. And when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some of the men fell into them, and the rest fled to the hills. The four kings seized all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their food. Then they went away. They also carried off Abraham's nephew Lot and his possessions. Since he was living in Sodom, a man who had escaped came and reported this to Abraham the Hebrew. Now Abraham was living near the great trees of Mamre the Amorite, a brother of Eshcol and Enner, all of whom were allied with Abraham. When Abram heard that his relative had been taken captive, he called out the 318, trained men born in his household, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the night, Abram divided his men to attack them, and he rooted them, pursuing them as far as Homa, north of Damascus. He recovered all the goods and brought back his relative Lot and his possessions together with the women and the other people. After Abraham returned from defeating Keterlimer and the kings allied with him, the king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Shava, that is, the king's valley. Then Melchizedek king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God Most High, and he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and praise be to God Most High, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, With raised hand I have sworn an oath to the Lord, God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, 